and here we are at the Chelsea, Kansas Cemetery. I can back this bitch up. Um, it's out by El Dorado Lake, which is in El Dorado, obviously, like common sense people. And this is what it looks like. This is the southern entrance, right? Yep. Yeah, that's the southern entrance. Do a little video as we go. Stupid steering wheel is about to go. There we go. Sorry about that. Now we're back on track. Right here is the cemetery. Now we're going north. I am not sure what this road is called. What's it called, Mom? I don't know. I didn't look. I that just, is the cemetery. I just go by turn here. Huge stairs in the center here. Just so trying to let you know where this is at. There's born there. And um, then this piece said that Ellis on them will leave down here. There is a whole bunch of There's a big one with Ellis on people it. here out yeah. on the far side There's of the cemetery. This is the Those very the... far western side of the um, cemetery. Ellis is what Ellis There's Road is named after. Here is the northern entrance right here. Um, you obviously go over the railroad, which be is here, and careful. be very There's careful. No lines. Yeah, so be very, very careful because trains go through here and they cannot stop. About every 10 minutes, even at night. So. Yep, about every 10 minutes on the dock, here comes another train. So I'm just going to film until I get to Main Street so I can show you how to get here if you would like to see it for yourself. Sorry, I'm not trying to show you my dash. <laughs> and yes, we are in a Prius, so if you have a small car, then you could easily get out here if you're not scared of dirt roads. Because we are in a Prius right now, and she is making it fun. I'm not going to film anybody's houses or anything, because that's not right. If you know how to edit them together, I'll meet you at the intersection. Well, not tonight, woman. It's getting dark. Okay, I'm at here at Coal Creek and 67th. You can see the sign. That is how you will know you're on the right road. Keep going past that to the south if you're coming from the north. Don't try to go north on that road because it's a private drive. And they'll yes. probably shoot you if you go in there. Do not. This is all... Uh, Private property, private property obviously you do not go on private property without permission uh, coming up on the stop sign up here sorry if I'm not in focus just hurry in to do this before the Sun goes down and then I can't show anybody just wanted to show everybody like what rural Butler County looks like in case you don't know I mean it's Kansas people think it's flat as fuck but I love Kansas. It's my favorite state. Obviously, I was born here. Okay, what this is is Coal Creek and 70th. And you're going to go to the right, which is east. East. Going east. So I'm actually going backwards from the location to how to get here. So just go backwards of what I'm telling you to do. Beautiful sunset tonight. Praise the gods. It's finally dropping. Okay, sorry about that pause. Not much to look at except uh, dirt road. So, now yeah, we were back filming just a little bit, bit, bit down the road. Um, that there bridge is Highway 177. This is the little dirt road that you turn on to which you see in just a few minutes. If I was you, I would take it pretty slow on this. Like, I wouldn't do over 20. Because if you're not used to dirt roads, you can get a flat, and that's not cool. And there's nobody to help you. Yeah, nobody is out here to help you. Help is at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes away. If you have.
Yeah. So, so like I said, if you have an emergency, make sure someone knows where you're at if you're coming out here. Because, like I said, help is 30 minutes away. And now, here we go, you'll know you're on the right spot if you go do, you'll pass Sunflower and 70th. Right there. You'll know you're on the right road. Sorry that I'm going backwards. I didn't think to film going into the cemetery. But it's nothing but a lovely gravel road. <laughs> yes, it's a lovely little crappy gravel road, so I apologize about that. You shouldn't need a four-wheel drive to make it, even if it's raining. Just use common sense. Yeah, common sense. There's the train. I don't know if you guys can see that. Those railroad tracks that we just went over a little bit in the video, there comes another train, speaking of the devil. Ha. Okay, you will know you're on the right thing in this little dirt road because it's the only road. It's the really only road. The first road. The first road as you are going down Highway 177. Left is Cassidy. Left right is Cassidy. Right takes you back to El Dorado. Right, which is where we're going. Takes you to. El Dorado, which we are going right because we're going right. We live out here. This is Highway 177. If you see where we was just at, right over there. Maybe that should help. You go up over this railroad bridge. Yeah, there is a, the highway goes up over the railroad, which I'll try to show you without crashing this car. And then you'll know you're in the right spot to go that way. So, it's not hard to find once you actually find it the first time. So, guess I'll end the video here. Hope you might enjoy it if you in Kansas, which is Butler County. It's the monkeys from Oz. Just kidding, it's some geese. <laughs> it's geese. <laughs> But yeah, um, oh also, I can do another highlight for you is this here. Would you call this a creek? What would you call it? It's called, I don't know how to pronounce it, pardon me, Duration Creek. Duration. Don't know if it's going to pick up or if it's going too fast, but there's the little creek that empties into the lake. Yeah, it empties into the lake, so you'll know where you're at once you... Because you're going straight past El Dorado Lake, like Bluestone Point and El Dorado Lake. Which, I can go ahead and take you down to the Bluestone so you can know how to get there from Bluestone. I mean, we ain't got nothing else to do. So, yeah. Let's go down the highway. Keep going. You will be going north. I am actually going south. Like I said, back in the backwards directions. Well, in other words, you can get there from Cassidy. Yeah, if you want to get off on, on the turnpike at the Cassidy exit, you can totally get there. Or the um, last El Dorado exit will take you around the lake. It's west of the lake. Don't try to film anybody's houses. I don't want anybody getting poopy about it. Well, there's plenty of Just trying to make a video about it. I'm sorry it wasn't more detailed. I will post pictures of some of the graves that I took. Um, At least somebody tries to mow it somewhat. It's awfully hot, so I don't blame them. Yeah. It's really hot out here. Like, my temperature says it's 83. I think it's hotter than that. It's bad when you think 83 is freezing. Yeah, that's bad, because here in Kansas, we're like, it's getting 60 degrees at night, and we're sitting here. Oh, sweet relief, it's a freezer. There's a boat ramp Sorry off about to that, the guys. right. This is 50th and 177. You'll know you're going the right way if you go past 50th and 177. And you'll see the boat ramps, the signs for it. Uh, yeah, you'll notice the floating numbers on the windshield my car has I'm not quite sure why it does that it shines from the dash onto the windshield so then like short people like myself I guess can look straight ahead instead of over to the side to see to drive I'm assuming is why they done that I'm not sure sorry about that in the words of a shade tree mechanic it's just something to bust <laughs> <laughs> Your 
are done. Lots of nothing to see. Oh, and sorry that I'm going in and out of focus. Watch for deer. Yes, do not come after dark because there is deer to here. We have had several accidents ourselves. Not a cool possum. This right here now. is Satchel Creek, is how we pronounce it. Don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. But I'm going as far as a uh, blue standpoint of El Dorado Lake. And then the east entrance, basically. Yeah, the east entrance, basically, too. Um, if you need directions, you can always um, ask somebody, they'll know where Blue Stem is. Like, if you're not from Kansas, everybody here in El Dorado, Cassidy, they'll know where Blue Stem is. So I'm turning in the lake and that's where I will leave you guys. Sorry, I don't post more interesting videos, but thought it might be something that if you're interested to go see for yourself, go ahead. But like I said, be careful because we do have rattlesnakes out here in the country. Spring and fall is the best times to come, but watch this your step. Is of lake. I'm just going in the entrance to turn around. Please be aware of, you know, dangers. Make sure someone knows where you're at. Make bring sure that your cell phone, water. bring water, bring food, just in case. I mean, I'm not talking about, like, wilderness or some stupid shit. Just, you know, be smart. Don't be stupid. Well, it's hot out. Bring us some water. Yeah, don't be stupid. Okay, this is the entrance where if you go past this point, you have to pay, which we have a sticker. Anybody that would know that. So I'll leave you here. Sorry if I was rambling. Just letting you know hopefully how to get there. And I will try to post something. Welcome back to the video. Bye.